Hello everybody, today we're gonna to be playing Can You Become a K-Pop Star? Can you sing? Can you dance? Do you have all the talent and beauty that anyone could ever wish for? Well, that's too bad. There's about 10,000 other people that have just the amount of talent as you do. Are we gonna introduce the guest this time? With Jenny! <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, Jenny. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> if you could become a K-pop star, just screw all the questions right now. Let's say tomorrow you can wake up. Hey, you got to become a K-pop star, yes or no? Would you say yes? I don't know. I hate One Direction, so I feel like joining a boy band would still be terrible. Personally, I don't think I would ever want to be a K-pop star. Seems like a lot of work. And also, I don't have the talent or the face, so... What are yeah. you talking about, Hosa? <laughs> I thought you were super hot. Uh... Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you want to become a K-pop star, you have to know what is allowed and what isn't allowed. Which of the following is banned for K-pop stars? Touching children. That's banned for everybody. <laughs> what else is banned? Right, which of these following is banned? One, driving. Two, dating. Three, drinking. Four, clubbing. All of the above. Final answer. Really? Okay, I, yeah, I see why they would stop them from dating, but they should be able to drink. Come on. I don't think so. I think all of it is banned because having fun as a K-pop star isn't allowed. No fun in <laughs> Korea. I think all of them are just, they could possibly be bad publicity. What about driving though? What happens if you accident? hit someone? Not everyone hits someone. No, like the Canadian prime minister isn't allowed to drive once he becomes prime minister. They revoke it? Yeah. Oh. Like, as in, you're not allowed to drive anymore, sir. Here is a chauffeur. Because what happens if the prime minister hits a kid? Why is it always a kid? <laughs> and what if what if his kid is dying at 3 a.m. in the morning and his chauffeur isn't fast enough? Call the ambulance? What if he's driving? Oh, I guess call the ambulance. There's, a, good answer. there's a green. <laughs> anyway, so the answer is all of the above. Wow, hey. who thought? Oh my god, Steven. I knew this was a trick <laughs> question. You're bad, Daniel. A K-pop group called Blackpink had a contract with YG Entertainment and they were not allowed to drink, drive, date, go clubbing. It basically was kind of like a military service. So I guess there is no fun in Korea. <laughs> well, l let's just assume that after three to five years of hard training, you didn't get booted out and you finally got to be a K-pop star. There's literal training camps to be a K-pop yeah, star? Yeah, people start as young as eight years old and Gross. they work their way up. They literally drop out of school to do this. Dang. Your average career time is about five years. Your average income is less than $43,000. What? And since you've been spending all your life training up to this point, you literally don't know how to do anything else. Yay! And you're forcing us to do this, sir? <laughs> how dare you? Okay, Jenny, can you name a couple K-pop bands that you know? BTS, Me Likey Thing Band Twice, or whatever their name is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know! Is that uh, me Likey? <laughs> You're not a true fan, I see. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the next question, Daniel? So let's say you slip up and you cuss and like you drop an f bomb or something in the public, and somebody recorded you. What would you do? Number one, ask them politely to delete it. Number two, apologize immediately. Number three, intimidate them. Number four, knock him out. <laughs> knock him out. <laughs> I mean, like Steven likes that option, but I feel like someone else would be recording right then and there. So you know what? Steven will do the opposite of what he usually does and ask politely. Like, what? like I feel like that's not gonna do much. You have to apologize publicly because it's a big deal. So I feel like you will have to. I also think it depends on how known you are. If no one really knows you when that happens, I mean, sure, still apologize. But like if you're someone like BTS and you just do something bad, if you just smile afterwards and apologize, girls will still just <laughs> fan girl about you. <laughs> find you really attractive afterwards. Oh my god, he's such a bad boy. Um, yes! Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're all wrong. Up really? Yours. Your career is over. They'll constantly film you. It'll go out in public. Image is everything. Everything you worked up to until now is ruined because you just cussed. So, okay, so first off, is everything just a trick question? Is either everything or nothing? What the I heck? Just, I just want to make this questionnaire a little bit more fun because usually when I make questions, they're too obvious. Oh my god. God, I will cut you so hard. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Daniel. Please delete that. <laughs> right, Steven, knock him out. Knock that. him out. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, the next question is an open-ended one. You're so open-ended. Of- <laughs> Go on. A lot of people within the industry struggle with the guilt and the emptiness of success. When you finally have that feeling of success, when you finally have something that you've worked towards for all your life, there is this weird empty void left behind uh, where you feel like you've finally accomplished something, but you don't feel the reward that you thought you would get. How would you cope with it? I love myself. I would probably just fill it with myself. Wow, Steven, you're so good oh at everything. Gosh. Thank you, Steven. I'm so great. Um, Just don't succeed. <laughs> Always have a goal that's higher than your, your goal. That doesn't make sense. No, that makes sense. If you really want worldly happiness, I guess, mm-hmm. always have a goal that's close enough yet far away so that you can never really truly reach it. What? Right. Okay, so let me get this right. So if you want to finish a marathon and it's like, all right, I'll run five kilometers. So you run the five kilometers, but then they move the finish line. <laughs> no, so it'd be like for, for a marathon, you finish the marathon, but then you say, okay, my next goal is. Yeah. Okay, but I feel like this analogy also works because if they keep moving the finish line during the race, <laughs> <laughs> they would die, Steven. Yeah. It's also the same with just, for example, singing. Either you own the hobby or the hobby owns you. For example, I had, I had a really rough time uploading in the last couple of months, a couple of years, actually. And now that I got back into working, since I only have one day off in my week, I actually just mm-hmm. take that day off to actually do everything in one day and just upload it. I mean, no one was pressuring me, but I was I was feeling extremely guilty of not uploading anything, even if people told me to just take my time. That's when the hobby owns you. Yeah. Being a K-pop star, for them, it's not really a hobby. It's a job, right? And it's the dream that they've ever wanted. Which is so... even worse, because you're actually forced to continue. What do you think, Daniel? What, yeah, what, what, I mean, I don't know, like, <laughs> me personally, I don't know if Hosa and Steven struggles with it too, but this whole YouTube thing, like, I've always dreamed about doing this full time, but now that I'm doing it, it's it's weird because I don't feel the joy that I thought I would yeah. feel. It's kind of, I question, this was all I ever wanted. Mm-hmm. Now that I have it, I'm not enjoying it as much as I should be, and that makes me enjoy it even less. I don't know. I... I don't know. Everything just uh, got so depressing. What the heck? Lighten it up, Daniel. Dan, you know what I think? I think it's because your goal, your initial goal was 5,000 subscribers. And <laughs> and we already reached that a long, long time ago, right? My goal mm-hmm. wasn't 5,000. Like, I wanted a million or more. And I still wow. have a goal way up there that I'm still trying to reach. But you, <laughs> your goal has already been accomplished. And maybe you're feeling the void that you... Uh, that a lot of K-pop stars are feeling after their success. So, Am I a K-pop star? <laughs> yeah, so readjust your goals, right? You're running a marathon. Keep moving that marathon finish exactly. line. Shut up, Jenny. I'm just- what are you <laughs> We detoured so much. I agree. Get back on track. Back on track. Uh, 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 so, K-pop star. Well... <laughs> I don't know how to end this video. I can speak something in German. Oh, can you sing us a song, <laughs> Jenny? What what song? K-pop song. In German. Yeah, in German. Sing a K-pop song in German. <laughs> no. I would say, Dan, you should sing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Dan, you know that song. Uh, <laughs> oh. Sing it. Cut the outro. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever's the loser will get punished in the next video. Mm. Mm. This is gonna be really cold. What is this? <laughs> oh. oh yeah! Oh, my God. Daniel, you made me so wet!